Hey everyone, we're going to talk about moving components and positioning them in Fusion 360. And what I have here is a square that's 80 millimeters by 80 millimeters and it's 5 millimeters high. And we're going to pretend that this is the bottom plate of our robot. And then let's view the left wheel assembly. So then our job is to position the left wheel assembly correctly onto this bottom plate. Um, let's start by selecting the left wheel assembly and let's hit the hotkey M on the keyboard and that brings up the move and the copy menu. And then there's different options which you can move but notice that the move object is a component so we can move both the motor and the wheel together. Um, and then there's different types of moves um, let's look at the free move. Let's select free move and you'll see you're going to get a lot of different options on how you can move it. So you can move it in the three different dimensions, the X, the Y, and the Z. And then you can rotate it on those three dimensions as well. So that's, that's going to give us a good start to eyeball the right position. But there's a couple of other features with this move and copy that's going to give us a little bit more precision. And one of those options is the point to point option. Um, so let's select that. And what point to point does is we select the origin point where we want to move something from and the target point where we want to move that point to. And Fusion 360 calculates the, cor the correct transformation to move that origin point to line it up with the target point. So let's try to take one of the corners of the motors as the origin point. So we'll move into one of the corners and let's select this corner, for example. And our target point, let's make the corner of the bottom plate. So we're going to click on it and you can see that your component automatically moves to the correct position. And then from there, you can start to make little modifications to it. So let's say that you want to move it up a tiny bit. You can go to free move and you'll see your options and you can move it up. Then you can move it over however you like. Um, one thing you'll notice though is if you zoom in, how this arrows are so far away. Um, to make that a little bit easier, let's go to set pivot and let's move our pivot point from over here closer to where we want to manipulate our object. So let's go to set pivot and let's make our pivot like over here for example and hit the check mark. So now if we zoom in it's much easier for us to get those precise movements and get the motor lined up the way we like it to. Um, and then we could hit OK and we can turn on our right wheel assembly and we can see that it appears as well. Now our job is to position this right wheel assembly um, to line it up with the plate, the bottom plate, and the left motor. So again, we can try to use the move. So we'll select right wheel assembly and hit M. Um, component is selected. Let's go to point to point. Um, let's start by maybe lining up our point with the point of the other motor to guarantee that these motors are perfectly lined up. And then once we know that's true, we can go to our free move. Let's move our pivot over. Um, we actually don't want that pivot. Let's... Uh, select the right wheel again and let's move the pivot. Um, that should be good and then let's move hit the check mark and then let's move the right wheel assembly to line that up how we like. So now we're starting to get the right positioning to build our robot around. Let's hit OK and that's the basics of moving and manipulating components in Fusion 360. Thank you.